Hello, Mauricio. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Can you Good hear evening. me? Hi, hello. How are you? Just fine. fine. Just Thank fine. You. Good teacher. Good. Very good. Waiting for another class with my dear participants. Did you get wet because of the rain? Did you? Did you get wet because of the rain? Se mojó por la lluvia? No, you? no. Ya, ya estaba en casa. Ah, you were at home. Excellent. Me too. Me too. Yes. So glad that you are here. Uh, hello, Jose, Korea, Mr. Korea. Hello. Good evening. Hi. Hi. Welcome. So let's just wait some more minutes for the others to join the class, the session the video conference of today, and then we continue. Hello, good evening, Carlota. Good evening, Miss Hueso uh, de Cepeda. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, good evening, good evening. Glad that you're here. Buenas noches, Carlota. Gusto de tenerla acá. Al igual que sus demás eh, compañeros participantes. Hello, hello, good evening. I see that uh, Reina is joining and Carla Patricia as well. Good evening, Mrs. Welcome. Welcome. Hello to the class. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Glad that you're here. Hello. Yes. So.
let's start then. It's uh, already time. So we are going to begin with our um, session for today. Our video conference number six. Yes, we are going very fast. Hello, Reina. I'm going, I'm going to respond to you on the chat. Yes. Let me write in here, type it. Yes, very good. So welcome again, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy um, to see you, to have you in here in the class. It's a pleasure. It's nice to have you in the class. Que bueno tenerlos en la clase, verlos nuevamente. Hello, Luz Angélica. Good evening. Good so, evening. Hello. We are going to begin right now. Que gusto verlos sanos, tranquilos, ya en sus casas, ya listo para las clases, ya para la última jornada del día, el, el último empujoncito del día. So that's really, really cool. Very good. So we are going to begin with our English class for today, my uh, dear participants. And this is what we have, right? Hello, Lucia and, and um, the others who are joining. Yes, yeah, Lucia has just joined the video conference. So yes, this is the topic for today. Uh, beginners one, that's your group, right? And we begin with our video conference number six. Imagine how fast we are um we are going right we are having these classes really fast imagínense acabamos de iniciar el módulo y vamos por la clase número seis o sea, esta semana es mitad del módulo ya yeah. imagínense qué rápido va we are going very very fast so and the pronter you feel it we are going to be like finishing this module right very fast very, very um, quickly, right? So imagine. So this is the topic once again for today, simple present statements and video conference number six. So let's move on. Today is, uh -huh, what day is today, students? Today is? Monday. Monday, July 12th, exactly. July 21. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Today is Monday, July the 12th, 2021. Monday, July the 12th, 2021. And then we move on to the class objective for today. This is the objective. This is the goal for today's class. What we plan to achieve today, it's the following class objective. At the end of this session, participants, that is you, will be able to use affirmative and negative simple present statements. Today, we focus our class on using and describing simple present structures, simple present ideas or sentences, as you want to say. For example, I work on Mondays. I work at Inglés Corporativo. She studies French and Portuguese. Uh, Mauricio presents reports or Mauricio supervises the classes. Uh, Luz Angelica prepares reports to the supervisor, for example, or to the boss. Carla Patricia responds calls. So the class of today focuses on that, right? On using simple present statements in both ways, affirmative, and negative, right? So that is why this class is going to be very, very interesting. Esa clase va a ser un poquito más interesante que las otras porque vamos empezando a trabajar con verbos, right? Con algunos verbos ya los vamos a empezar a utilizar y ya vamos con estructuras un, un poquito más complejas, right? Uh, algo un poquito más práctico. So that is the objective for today. Este es nuestro objetivo para esa clase. So let's move on, right? This is a topic again, affirmative and negative statements with simple present, right? The topic for today, affirmative and negative statements with the simple present. Yes, so we're going to start with these three questions. So in order to kick off, right, the day, 
in order to start our class, we ask and respond to these questions. Para iniciar la clase, vamos a trabajar con estas pequeñas preguntas, tres preguntitas, ¿verdad? Que tienen un poquito que ver con lo que trabajamos en la clase anterior. Eh, they are a little bit, right? A little bit, a little bit connected. So, hello, good evening, Ivet. Buenas noches, Ivet. Welcome to the class. Welcome, welcome. Bienvenida a la clase. So, here we Thank start. You. Excellent. The first one, are you free on Monday? And you respond, yes, I am. No, I am not. That is the first question we have for today. Are you free on Monday? Hello, Jose Portillo. Good evening. Buenas noches, Jose Portillo. So this is, right? Um, are you free on Monday? Estás libre los lunes? Are you, for example, Luz Angelica, are you free on Monday? No, I am not. No, I am not. What day are you free? What day are you free? Tuesday and Tuesday. Sunday. Ah, okay. Excellent. Very good. Very, very good. Uh, let's see, Mauricio. Let's try with Mauricio. Uh, Mauricio, do you have plans for this night or for this afternoon? Tiene planes para esta tarde, para esta noche, for example? Mm -hmm. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, very good. Uh, what about you, Carla Patricia? Do you have plans for this weekend, para este próximo fin de semana? Do you have plans? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. For example, go I out visit Papa. my family in Chalatenango. Okay, mm -hmm. correct. And I see the movie in cinema. Fast and Furious, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Excellent. Yes. Uh -huh. Excellent. Very good. Uh -huh. Students, how do you say voy a ir al, al cine o tengo planes de ir al cine? Uh -huh. Any idea? I am going to go to the cinema. Okay, very good. Excellent. Yes. You have two options. Two options. You can say I go to the cinema. Listen to the pronunciation of this word. It's like this. Escuchen a la pronunciación correcta de esta palabra. Cinema. 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 Mm -hmm. It's not cinema. Cinema. Mm -hmm. I go to the cinema on Sunday, for example. I go to the movies, right? On Sunday, for example. Voy a ir a, la, a ver películas o voy al cine el viernes o el sábado, right? On Friday or on Saturday. Yes. Very good. That's how you pronounce. That's how you say um, this, right? Very good. And what do you what do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? Jose Correa, to you. What do you do in your free time, Jose Correa? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué hace en su tiempo libre? What? Or Ibeth? Uh -huh. Ibeth, what do you do in your free time? ¿Qué actividades tiene tiempo libre? ¿Qué hace en su tiempo libre? Ibeth? Listen music. Listen to music, okay. I listen to music, uh -huh. what else? Uh, sí. Sí, TV. I watch TV, uh -huh. I watch I watch TV. Excellent. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Okay, no problem, Jose. Yes, not a problem. Uh let's see. Uh who's missing? Lucia. Lucia Gabriela. Yes, it's your turn. Are you free on Monday? Mm -hmm. Are you? Are you free on Monday, Lucia? Mm -hmm. mm, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Very good. Okay. In the chat, Jose Correa says, I read books, I play video games, and I do exercise. Very good. Good job. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. For example, I uh, take naps. 
That is another one. Do you, students, do you take naps? Here in the chat, I um I wrote it. I take naps. Toman siestas ustedes en los días de semana o en el fin de semana? Do you take Yes, naps? I do. Yes, no, I, do. I don't. No? No, I don't. No? Okay. Mm -hmm. I take naps, right? A sleeping or a sleep is when you go and you do it at night in the evening, right? That is sleeping. When you just uh, sleep for some minutes, you take a nap. Cuando duermen por la tarde, por unos cuantos minutos, right? Or in the morning, that is take a nap. Take a nap. Eso es tomar una siesta. Ya es, ya es más largo. ¿no? Lo que hacen, por ejemplo, after the class or after you finish your homework. Yes. Do you practice English during the week? Practican su inglés durante la semana? Do you practice your English during the week? Yes. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Uh -huh. Do you practice your English? Practican su inglés en la semana? Do you practice your English? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, very good. Very, very good. Questions about these participants? Do you have questions about this? Mm -hmm. Yes, no? No more questions, no? Preguntas, dudas, comentarios, yeah, no? No, okay, very good, very, very good, perfect. So let's see, we are going to check more examples right now. Let's see, let's have a look at more examples for today. And this is what we have, right? We are going to see some verbs for practicing. These are some of the verbs that we are using today. We have the first one, report. Listen to the pronunciation of this verb. Report, report, report. And we have inform, inform, inform. Then number three is organize, organize, organize. Number four, explain, 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 explain. Yes. Number five for today is keep on track, keep on track, keep on track. Mm -hmm. That is the one we have for uh, today. Keep on track. Plan, 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 plan. Call, 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 call. Check emails, check emails, check emails. Now, yes, I'm going to explain one by one. Ahora sí, voy a explicar cada uno de ellos y les voy a proporcionar ejemplos para que quede más claro, ¿verdad? Estos verbos. Ok. So, number one is report. What is report? Report is when you elaborate like papers, documents, eh, describing the activities or a process somebody or you have done, right? So, in this case, you present a report to your boss. Ustedes presentan reportes a sus jefes, right? Ustedes reportan lo que hacen. Yes? Yes, right? Uh -huh. You also report when you enter the company. Ustedes también se reportan cuando ingresan a sus empresas, right? To your company. For example, you put the hand. Algunos de ustedes pasan su mano a través de un scanner, right? You place your hand. Some others signed, right? Otros firman. How do you say firmar in English? Sign. You signed, exactly. Uh -huh. You signed a page. Firman una página que han ingresado a la empresa, right? You signed a page. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you signed a page. I report. 
inform, organize, right? Explain. Report is that you report something. Ustedes reportan algo. For example, Luz reports or Luz Angelica reports problems to the marketing area. Ella reporta situaciones o problemas con el área de mercadeo, right? He reports that. Eh, Mauricio reports the students with low performances. Mauricio reporta a los estudiantes con bajo rendimiento académico. He reports, right? Inform. For example, Jose Corea informs when he is sick. Jose Corea informa cuando él se siente mal, cuando está enfermo, right? He informs, informs. Mm -hmm. He informs. Organize. Do you organize your time? Organizan su tiempo? Do you? Do you organize your time? Yes. Yes, yes I do. do. Yes, I do. Yes. Okay. Uh, I organize documents. Organizan documentos? Ordenan documentos? Do you? Do you organize documents? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. Okay, very good. Do you organize your work space? For example, I organize your work space or my organize my work space. Eh, ordenan, organizan su lugar de trabajo? Do you? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Very good. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. That is organized. Yes. Explain. For example, in this moment, the teacher Kevin is explaining these verbs, right? I explain a topic to you. I explain the class to the participants, to the students. I explain, right? The methodology of the class. You explain a process. Ustedes explican, right? Algo, un proceso, una situación, a situation. I explain a situation, for example, right? Keep on track. Mm -hmm. Keep on track. What is that? What is that? Keep on track. That is follow up. Darle seguimiento a algo, ¿verdad? That is keep on track. For example, I keep on track. O estoy al tanto de, me mantengo informado de, I keep on track, um, I don't know, about the reports. Me mantengo informado con los reportes, with the reports. Eh, digamos que Luz es la supervisor, ella es la supervisora, entonces, she keeps on track of what the workers do. Ella sigue da seguimiento a lo que los empleados hacen, right? She keeps on track of what workers do. Let me write down that example for you in the chat, right? For example, she keeps on track what workers do. Ahí se los coloqué en el chat, right? She keeps on track of what workers do. That's what she does. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, questions right now? By the moment, do you have questions? Tienen alguna duda hasta el momento? Mm -hmm. Preguntas? Yes, no? May no, I don't. No questions? Ninguna duda? No? No, I don't. Okay. Okay, very good. Very, very good. Uh, let's see the next one. Plan. I plan my activities. Do you plan your activities? Planean, organizan sus actividades? Los programan? Do you plan? Yes? Yes, I do. Yes, yes, I do. Yes. Uh -huh. Very good. I plan my activities, right? That is the best example. 
I plan my activities, right? Very, very good. Um, yes, for example, I plan the class. I plan the class, right? I have my objectives. I have everything, for example, right? I plan the class. I planeo la clase, planeo mis actividades diarias, right? I plan, 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 plan. Yes, I call. What is call? What is Hello? that? What is call? Uh huh. Exactly. Example. I, I am calling. Imagine I have the cell phone here. I am calling, right? For example, I make the phone ring, ring, ring. It's ringing. So I say, uh, can I talk to Luz Angelica, please? So I am having a call. I call her, right? Luz Angelica. Yes. Uh, let's see the next one. Check emails. Revisar correos. Do you? Do you check emails? Revisan correos ustedes? Do you? Yes, yes, no. I do. yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. The others, los demás. Yes. No, I yes, I do. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay. Yes. Very good. Do you check emails? Yes, I do. No, I don't. For example, Crisia. Hello. Good evening, Crisia. I'm happy that you're in the class. Que bueno que ya logró conectarse. Excellent. Okay. Hello, hello. Crisia, do you check emails? Revisa correos todos los días, every day. Yes. Okay, very good. Iliana, hello, Iliana. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, do you check emails, Iliana? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Good, good job. Uh, and these are the verbs? Yes. These are the verbs. Again, report inform, organize, explain, keep on track, plan, call, check emails. Jose Correa reports the documents to the supervisor. Mauricio informs when he is sick. Mauricio informa cuando está mal de salud. Eh, Crisia organizes her books. Right? Her books. Crisia organiza, ordena sus libros. Crisia organizes her books. Yes. Iliana explains the process. Iliana explica el proceso. She explains the process. Luz Angélica keeps on track of the employees. Ella le da el seguimiento a los empleados. Right? Plan. For example, Reina plans her responsibilities of the day. Ella planea, programa las responsabilidades, sus tareas del día, right? Y Beth calls the clients, the customers. Y Beth contacta, llama a sus clientes, right? A los clientes de la empresa. Mm -hmm. And Crisia checks emails every day. Y Crisia revisa sus correos todos los días. Perfect questions. Magdaleno, hello. Everything clear, Magdaleno? Todo claro? Yes. Participants, todo claro hasta el momento? Yes, okay. Very good, very, very good. Excellent. So do me a big favor, please. In this moment, participants, elaborate your own examples for each of them. Um, for each of the of the verbs that we have in there, please, por cada uno de los verbos que tenemos ahí, elabore una pequeña oración, please, in this moment, in your notebook. Mm -hmm. Please, please. Elaborate it in your notebook, yes. Please. Please, please, please. Mm -hmm. Very good. In the meantime, I'm going to call on the attendance, ya que muchos más se unieron. Voy a, um, a 
tomar la asistencia, right? Solo para constatar de que todos estamos en misma sintonía, present, ok? So you just have to say present, right? Uh, Carlota Hueso, yes, she's here. I saw her. Claudia Lizeth Garcia. Oh, Lizeth has problems, right? With the internet, she told me. Diana Margarita. Not here yet. Ileana Idalia Serrano Martinez. Present teacher. Excellent. Jose Arnoldo Correa. Present. Excellent. Uh, let's see. Jose Ivan Portillo Marquez. Ivan is here. Very good. Uh, Carla Patricia Pineda López. Miss Pineda. Present. Very good, thank you. Lizeth uh, del Carmen Pineda Aventura. Lucía Gabriela Vázquez Menjiva. Present. Excellent, very good. Mm -hmm. Luz Angélica Vázquez uh, Menjiva. She's here. Present. Thank you. Mr. Mm. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Mm -hmm. Mr. Magdaleno. Oh, there he is. I see him. Uh -huh. Hello. Hello. Hello, Magdaleno. Hello. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mauricio Isaú uh, Calderón. Present, thank you. Raúl Oswaldo. Reina Guadalupe. Oh, yeah. Reina. Present. Okay. Yes, hello, Reina, thanks. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sara Judith Miranda Cruz. Present. Hello, Sara, thank you. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, very good. Uh, Tomasa Yvette Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Sara uh, Stephanie Emperatriz Orellana Castillo. Missing this moment, yes. Veronica Jasmine Ramirez is missing, and Yesenia Elizabeth Carcamo. Thank you. When you finish, you let me know, students, ¿ok? Cuando finalicen, pues me indican y luego revisamos juntos. Then we check together. Teacher. Yes, tell me. How do you say transferencia de bancos oh, in yes. English? Uh, bank trans, uh, transfers. Thank you. Yes. There you are. Very good. Bank transfers. Another question, participants, alguna otra duda, otra pregunta? Yes. Finish teacher. Very good, very good. Thank you, Carla Patricia. Let's just wait for the others to finish and then we check together. Mm -hmm. Finish. Finish. Okay. Excellent. 
Okay, so ready for checking? Uh, let's see, Carla Patricia, give me one example using plan and um, organize, please, Carla Patricia. I plan my vacation. Okay. Uh, explain. Yes, please. Yeah. I explain a new co worker. I explain to, to a new co worker. Okay, to very a new co-worker. Excellent. Good job, Carla. Excellent. Very good job. Uh, Luz Angelica, can you give us one example, please? Uh, you decide the verbs. Two examples. Uh, you decide the verbs. Okay. Roberto keep on track to the construction. Okay. Mm -hmm. Roberto keeps on track the construction. Very good. Uh -huh. Another? Okay, uh, Sylvia checks in emails every hour. Thank you very much. Good job. Uh, Ibeth Ramirez, mm -hmm. for examples, Ibeth. And Claudia report his operation. Okay, her operations. Her operation. Uh -huh. Very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh -huh. Another example or just one? <laughs> okay. One. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Hello, Diana Margarita. Good evening. Diana, Miss Diana Margarita. Let me put it here. Miss Campos. Yes. Very good. Now you have it. Yes, Crisia. Miss Enriquez, please. Mm -hmm. The plan is perfect. The plan is perfect. Very good. Very, very good. Yes, thank you. I like it. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Mauricio, do you want to try? Or Jose, or Magdaleno, or Sara Miranda? Do you want to give us, well, give me and the class an example using one of these verbs? Utilizando uno de estos verbos, yeah? Okay, my mom. Okay, uh, first Mauricio and then Malay. Okay. okay. Okay, my mom calls my brother. Aha, uh -huh. very good. Another? I, okay. I have. Aha, uh -huh. Mauricio, Mauricio, then Magdaleno. Okay, she organi organized her desk. Uh, organizes. Organizes, organizes her desk. desk, her desk. Very good. Excellent, Mauricio. Good job. Magdaleno, please. 
your turn, Magdalena. Mm -hmm. Finish. I finish my work today. Okay. I finish my work today. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Other one. Please, if you want. I make my form for you in this week. Very good. Yes. Very good. Excellent, Magdalena. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know if Diana, Lucia, Reina. Iliana, Sara Miranda, this is your moment for practicing. So I don't okay. know if you want to. Uh -huh. uh, they, they organize the purchase. Ah, they organize the purchase. Purchase. Exactly. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Repeat. Purchase. Podría. Purchase. Podría. Uh -huh. Purchase. Podría organizar yes. una reunión. Yes. Diana. De... De... Okay. Could you organize the meeting? Could you organize the meeting? Uh -huh. That is correct. Yes. Thank you, Diana. Iliana, I'm so sorry. I didn't let you finish. No la dejé terminar, Iliana. Mil perdones. Por favor, proceed. No, no problem. Uh -huh. uh, I am check the email. I check uh, the emails. Uh -huh. uh, they are a report on the daily accounts. Okay. Y excellent good job Ileana excellent excellent examples yes very good uh, thank you students thank you participants very good effort yes the ideas are correct um, thank you very much good good job I feel proud of your work today this evening yes so let's continue we study today a nice, nice topic. This is one of my favorite topics. It's called simple present. Yes. And this is perhaps a most, well, the most common topic in the English language, right? The simple present is very common. Es uno de los temas más comunes in the English language para el idioma inglés y esta noche vamos a tener la oportunidad de dar un pequeño eh, refrescar, ¿verdad? Aclarar dudas, proporcionar ejemplos, give examples, clarify doubts, ask questions in case we have any questions related to the uses of the simple present, right? So in what situations, in what scenarios we used the simple present? Well, we use the simple present to talk about routines at work or at home. Listen to that, routines. That is the first use for this. Routines at work or at home, right? Routinas que ustedes realizan tanto en el trabajo como en la casa. Ese es el primer uso que le damos, right? General truth. General truth, that means, uh, truth, sorry, that means uh, information that is real, información que es real, que es verídica, right? So, for example, El Salvador has 14 departments. El Salvador tiene 14 departamentos. True or false? Mm -hmm. Cierto o verdadero? Cierto o falso, perdón. True or false? It's true. It's true, uh-huh. True. Yeah. El Salvador is the smallest country of Central America. Salvador es el país más pequeño de Central America. True or false? True. True, true, true. right? Excellent. Uh -huh. Yes, the Earth is a planet. True or false? Uh -huh. La Tierra es un planeta. The Earth is a planet. True or false? True. True, okay, okay, excellent. In the class beginners one, there are the best students. In a class beginners one, están los mejores estudiantes. True or false? True. True, True. okay, excellent, very good, very, very good, right? So that is one of the uses that we give. Personal information. My name is Crisia Enriquez, for example, Crisia. <laughs> I am using your information, right? Estoy usando su información, perdón. 
My name is Crisia Enriquez. I am 25 years old. I study English. I live in, I don't know, I live in Jalisco, Mexico, for example, right? Vivo en, I live in Jalisco, Mexico. I drink coffee. Uh, so that is your personal information, right? There is when you use it. Ahí lo utilizan para describir su información personal. Yes. Okay, students, is it clear? Estamos claros con esto? Yeah. Respond with a yes yeah. or no? Mm -hmm. yes. 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 Okay. Very good. Very good. Good job. Yes, right? Excellent. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good job. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, that is it. That is when we use it. So, we have here some examples. I work from Monday to Friday. True or false? En sus casos, esto es cierto o falso? True or false? I false. work from Monday to, to Friday. Trabajo de lunes a viernes. True or false? True. 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 Okay. Uh, he, for example, Mauricio, he studies English at Inglés Corporativo. Is that true or false? It's true. It's true, right? Uh huh. Very good. Very, very good. Luz Angelica is a mother of two children, for example. Luz Angelica is a mother of two children. Los Angelica, is that true or false? It's true. It's true. Uh -huh. And is that part of your personal information? Is eso parte de su información personal? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Excellent. Very good. Very, no, very good. Aha. Uh -huh. Very good. For example, Ileana has a sister. Ileana tiene una hermana. True or false? Uh, true. It's true. Uh -huh. It's true. Repeat it, please. It's true. It's true. Mm -hmm. So that is her personal information as well. Okay. So, uh -huh. for example, I uh, enter my job at 7 a.m. ¿Quiénes de ustedes entran a su trabajo a las 7 de la mañana? Who enters at 7 a.m.? Levanten su mano, utilicen la reacción de Zoom. Uh -huh. And tell me, please. Uh -huh. Who enters at 7? Excellent. Uh -huh. Mauricio enters at 7. Yes, very good. Uh -huh. Very, very good. Excellent. Nice. Good job, Crisia. Uh -huh. Excellent. Very good. So, routines, right? Uh, I check the email or who uses a computer at his or her job. ¿Quién utiliza una computadora en su trabajo? Diana, do you use a computer? ¿Utiliza computadora en su trabajo? Yes, yes or no? Computer. Yes, yes, I do. Uh -huh. Repeat, yes, Diana. I yes, I do. Excellent. Yes, Very I good. do. Uh -huh. uh, let me see. For example, Carla Patricia, do you have a telephone in your work? Tienen un teléfono en su trabajo, en su oficina? Yes, I office? do. Yes, I do. Uh -huh. Very good. Very good job. Uh -huh. Excellent. Uh -huh. That is when you use it. Yes. For example, Jose Correa, do you use headsets in your job? Utiliza audífonos en su trabajo? Do you use? No, I don't. No, okay. No, I don't. Lucia, hello. Lucia Gabriela, hello, hello. Hello, hello Lucia. Do you uh, study English? Estudia inglés? Do you, Lucia? Yes? Yes. Yes, I do. Repeat. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Excellent. Very good. Two examples. Esta vez quiero retarlos un poquito más. Write down two examples, but use different verbs. Quiero que escriban dos ejemplos, pero con verbos diferentes. Retémonos un poquito. Sin usar translator, sin utilizar ningún traductor ni diccionario. And without help. Sin ayuda de nadie. Ustedes solitos. Write them down. Two examples. Solo dos ejemplos. Ustedes pueden. Mm -hmm. From your authority. Y que sean otros verbos, right? Any other verbs? Yes. Do it, please, in this moment. Mm -hmm. And then we check together. Mm 
Finish. Finish, Titi. Finish. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Finish, teacher. Excellent. Yes. Okay, so very, very good, very good participants. Uh huh. So let's see what we have in here. Can you see my examples? Do you see my examples for, for this night, for today? Mm -hmm. Let's see, there you are. These are my examples. Very good. So we are getting into something uh, more, uh, not more difficult, but we're getting into something more professional. Cada vez más nos vamos acercando a algo que ustedes van haciendo día a día. For example, Kevin edits a spreadsheet. What is a spreadsheet, Kevin? Teacher Kevin, what is that? What is a spreadsheet? A spreadsheet is an Excel document. Es lo que ustedes utilizan o conocen como una hoja de cálculo en Excel. Right? That is a spreadsheet. Uh -huh. Kevin edits. Edita o trabaja en una hoja de cálculo, en un spreadsheet. Maria makes photocopies. Ella hace o saca photocopies. Maria makes photocopies. Angel elaborates letters. Ángel elabora o redacta cartas. He elaborates letters. Mario check, checks the payrolls. Mario revisa las planillas. Mario checks the payrolls. Mm -hmm. Yes, like that. Those are my examples, right? And then you're going to give me your examples. Questions about these sentences? Preguntas sobre estas oraciones of these statements? Yes, no? No. No, no, everything clear? Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, very good. 
Very, very good. Now give me your examples. Uh, who wants to volunteer? Can you give me sus primeros ejemplos? Who wants to volunteer? Me, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, I draw in my free time. I draw in my and free I, time. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And I take a shower with cold water. I take a shower with? With cold water. Cold water. Excellent, Reina. Good examples. Yes, Reina. Uh-huh. That is correct. Correct. Very good. Excellent. Somebody else? Another uh, student? Another participant? Alguien más? Yes? Mm -hmm. Nobody. Okay. Yes, Los Angelica. Mm -hmm. I read the Bible at this morning. Okay. And Mexico is the hot pepper country. Excellent. Very good. Mm -hmm. I read the Bible in this morning mm -hmm. or in the morning. Okay. In the morning. Very good. One more example, please. Un yes, Carla Patricia Pineda. Mm -hmm. I read a book in my free time. Yes. And I ch check fan transfer. Ah, okay. Very good. Yes. Excellent. I read a book mm -hmm. in my free time. Uh, so do I. That is my example. I read a book too. Very good. Good job. Excellent. Yes. Uh, let's see. Mauricio or Diana. One example, please. Okay. I cook my dinner. Yes. I cook my dinner. Uh huh. And I have one brother. I have one brother. I have one brother. Okay, I have one brother. Excellent. Good job. Excellent, excellent job. Very good participants. Good, good, good job. Yes, that is totally correct. So we're going to focus right now on this. Here we are. We have three different statements for um the simple present we have positive or affirmative as you want to call it right affirmative negative and question that is what we have for example they are late teacher how do you say in english están retrasados o sea están o han llegado tarde están eh, con demora han llegado tarde they are late y teacher y cómo puedo decir que yo yo estoy tarde para mi trabajo I am late for work. Mm -hmm. I am late for work. Yes. They are late. I am late for work. Mm -hmm. Yes. In negative, they aren't late. That is in negative. They aren't or they are not late. Right? And in, well, as a question, are they late? Mm -hmm. Are they late? Uh, ¿Están tarde para su trabajo? ¿Han llegado tarde? Are they late? Yes, they are. No, they aren't, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, are they late? Am I late? Mm -hmm. Very good. He travels a lot. Él viaja mucho. He travels a lot. Uh -huh. He travels a lot. He does not travel a lot. El no viaja mucho. He doesn't travel a lot. He does not travel a lot. Mm -hmm. Does travel a lot. Right? Um, that is the example. Thank you. That is the example we have in there. Does he travel a lot? Viaja el mucho? Does he? Does he travel a lot? Mm -hmm. I smoke, right? Like if you ask somebody, eh, uy, teacher, and this verb, teacher, y este verbo, es un verbo. No lo podemos dejar, perdón. Nada. I smoke, eh, yo fumo. Example, es un ejemplo, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo se dice? I smoke. Mm -hmm. 
I don't smoke. The negative. Uh -uh. I don't smoke. Yo no. I don't. Do I smoke? Do I? As a question. Mm -hmm. She is busy. Repeat this word. Esta palabra sí les pido de todo corazón que todos la pronuncien, por favor, y que la repitan, porque sí es bien complicado que todavía digan busy, and it's busy. She is busy. Ajá, repítanla, por favor. Busy. She is busy. 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 Ajá. She is busy. She is busy. Ajá. She is busy. Excellent. She is not busy. Ajá. She is not busy. Mm -hmm. Very good. She is not busy. Or she isn't busy. Uh -huh. She isn't busy. She is not busy. She isn't busy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is she busy? Is she busy? Está ella ocupada? She is busy. Yes, she is. Sí, sí lo está. She is busy. Ella está ocupada. Is Sara busy? Yes, she is. Is Jose Corea busy? Yes, he is. Is Crisia busy? Yes, she is. Is teacher Kevin busy? Yes, he is. Uh -huh. And that's what you say, right? That's what uh, you normally get to say, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what you get to, to listen and, and to say in there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let's see. Uh, he has time. Él tiene tiempo. He has time. For example, Luz Angelica has time. Yvette Ramirez has time. Jose Correa has time. The teacher Kevin has time. Diana and Mauricio have time. Crisia and Ileana have time. I don't have time. Mm -mm. I don't have time. Do you have time? Uh -huh. Do you have time? Respond. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Tienen tiempo? Do you have extra time? No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Do you have a lot of free time? Tienen mucho tiempo libre? Do you have a lot of free time? No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have a lot of time to work? Tienen mucho tiempo para trabajar? Do you have a lot of time to work? Yes, I have. Yes. Uh -huh. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes. Excellent. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Does he have time? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does he have time? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Perfect. Now, yes. What you have to do? Very simple. Select just one. Elijan uno, cualquiera que sea de su elección. Un ejemplo, pero la, en las tres combinaciones. Affirmative, negative, and as a question. Please. Así, las tres combinaciones. Como affirmative, como negative, y como question. Afirmativo, negativo, y en pregunta. En question. Please do it in this moment. Please, please. Realizan en este momento, please. Do it. Participants. Mm -hmm. Do you repeat, please, for? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, one sentence, one statement in affirmative, negative, and question. Una sola oración, pero de las tres combinaciones. Affirmative, negative, and question. Mm -hmm. Yes. Una de cada una, en afirmativo, negativo y en pregunta. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, once you finish, you let me know, please. Once you're done, you let me know.
Did you finish? Yes, not yet. Finalizamos. Yes, not yes, yet. Yes, teacher. Yes, not, not yet. yet. Not yet. Okay. We can wait for some more minutes um, while you're finishing. Yeah, not a problem. Mm -hmm. Yes. Finish teacher. Excellent. Good job. Do you have a cat, Ileana? What? Do you have a cat? Yes. <laughs> Excellent. He's my brother. <laughs> no, a, a cat. Oh, so you don't have a cat? Sí, yes, pero es de mi hermano. <laughs> ah, it's uh -huh. your brothers. Uh, it's cat. your bro uh -huh. it's my, my bro brothers. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's Repeat, my it's my brother's cat. It's my brother's cat. Excellent, my brother's cat. Excellent. I have the, yo tengo, pero para mí, sería, I have a pet. I have a pet, a, a dog. My no. dog. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Excellent. Very good. Good, good, good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm, did you fit? Are you still at work, Mr. Korea? Are you still at work? Yes. Oh, yes, Lord. Jesus Christ. You are arriving late to your house today, aren't you? Or you going to a little tarde to your My shift and tomorrow. Oh, your shift ends tomorrow. Yep. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Good job. I'm going to call the attendance. Antes de que lo olvide, voy a tomar la asistencia una vez más, right? For the others to join. Y luego revisamos. Luego pasamos a la siguiente actividad, que es solo de ustedes. All about you. Eh, Miss Carlota Hueso de Cepeda. Mm -hmm. There she is. Claudia Lisset Garcia. Claudia. She's not here today. Diana Margarita Campos Benitez. Present teacher. Very good. Y Liana Idalia Serrano Martinez. There she is. Present teacher. Good job. Uh, and Mr. Jose Arnoldo Correa Jovel. I just talked to him. Mm -hmm. yes, present. Jose Ivan Portillo. He connects and he disconnects. I think he is having internet problems today. Um, Carla Patricia Pineda. Lopez. Present. Very good. Very good job. Crisia Vanessa Enriquez Monterrosa. Present teacher. Nice. Mm -hmm. Very good. Lisette del Carmen Pineda Ventura. Oh, she says she has internet issues, connection issues. Lucia Gabriela Vasquez Mengibar. That is the next one. Present. Luz Angelica Muñoz Bustillo, I think there she is. Present. But she's a little bit tired, perhaps, and a little bit sick. Are you? Yeah, I am. A, a headache. Do you have a headache? Tiene dolor de cabeza? No. 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 Okay. La um, garganta me duele. Ah, the throat. You have a sore throat. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. Antes de que se me olvide, se lo voy a colocar en el chat. Yo sé que no me lo pidió, pero se lo voy a poner. No, <laughs> pues ahí, pues ahí Ajá. 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 Ahí se lo puse ya en el chat. I have sore throat. Ajá. Yes. I have sore throat. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Um, Luz Angelica. Thank there you. She is. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Magdaleno. Oh, here he is. Yeah, he responded to me, but he has problems with the microphone right now. Eh, Mauricio Isaú Calderón es Miguel. Excellent. Raúl Oswaldo Ramírez Fabián, not present today. Reina Guadalupe Rivas Ventura, Miss Reina present. is there. Sara Judith Miranda Cruz. Present. Hello, Miss Miranda, Miss Sara Miranda. Hello. Very quiet today. 
Uh -huh. Hoy no lo hemos escuchado mucho, Miss Sara Miranda. Yes. Que me siento algo enferma, teacher. Ah, ok, I understand. Uh -huh. That's why. Uh -huh. Stephanie Emperatriz Orellana, she's not here yet. Tomasa y Beth Ramírez eh, Castillo. There she is. Verónica Yasmín Ramírez Ramírez, she's not here. And Yesenia Elizabeth Cárcamo Serrano. Present. Present. Hello, Yesenia. Welcome. So nice Hello. to have you here. Excellent, very good. So let's start with Luz Angelica. Your examples, please. Okay. Um, Esteban play with, um, no, Esteban play his cat. With his cat. Uh -huh. Ah, with, okay. Mm -hmm. Lo había puesto, pero lo borré. Ah, no, no, okay. it's okay. Uh -huh. Esteban play with his cat is in positive. Uh -huh. And negative, he does not play his cat. Exactly. And as a question? Uh, and as a question, um, does he play with his cat? Mm -hmm. Does he play with his cat? Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, let me see. Reina Guadalupe, can I have your examples, please? Miss Reina? She, right. Yes. She writes in her notebook. Mm -hmm. She does not write in her notebook. Mm -hmm. And does she write in her notebook? Very good. Very good. Excellent examples. Ms. Lucia Gabriela. Do you want to share your examples, Ms. Lucia? Mm. He eats a lot. He do does not eat a lot. He doesn't uh, eat a lot. Uh -huh. Doesn't. Uh -huh. uh, doesn't he eat a lot? Does he eat a lot? Uh -huh. Does he eat a lot? Very good. Very good. Excellent. Miss Diana. Uh, Miss Diana Margarita Benitez, please. Your example. Mm -hmm. Do I brush my teeth? Do I brush I, my teeth? Uh -huh. Do I brush my teeth? I brush my teeth. I don't brush my teeth. Excellent. Good job. Excellent, Diana. Uh, let's see. Miss Sara Miranda, your example, please. Uh -huh. Do you like hamburger? Mm -hmm. I have four hamburger. Hamburgers. I don't like hamburgers. hamburgers. Yeah, because hamburgers. it's plural. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. e I don't like hamburger. Hamburgers. Hamburgers. Excellent. Good, Miss Sara Miranda. Excellent. Good job. Good, good job. Excellent. So here are the rules, right? Eh, when it comes to say he or she, para cuando utilicemos el he, she, and it para la tercera persona, no vamos a decir he watch, tampoco vamos a decir she eat, no, vamos a utilizar ciertas reglas, vamos a decir she eats, he watches. Entonces aquí van los verbos, right? When the verb finishes in ch, s, S, H, O, or X, we are going to add E, S. For example, watch, watches. Guess, adivinar, right? Adivinar, guess what? Por de ahí sale la expresión guess what? Adivina qué? Uh -huh. Guess what? Uh -huh. For example, Luz Angélica, guess what? I won the lottery. Gané la lotería, for example, right? <laughs> guess, guesses, right? Finish, finishes. Go, goes. Fix, fixes. Teacher, what is fix? Fix is a synonym of repair. Es un sinónimo de reparar, right? Reparar. He fixes. He repairs. Cualquiera de las dos maneras pueden decirla. Ambas son correctas, right? For example, eh, José fixes his car. 
él repara su propio auto. He fixes his car. Um, Mauricio goes to the supermarket every Sunday. Mauricio va al supermercado cada domingo. Es el único día que Mauricio tiene tiempo. Mauricio goes to the supermarket. Oh, no. Like this. Lo voy a cambiar. Lo voy a contextualizar. Mauricio goes to his dancing training every weekend. Mauricio va a sus ensayos de baile cada fin de semana. Es el único tiempo que Mauricio tiene. Right, Mauricio? <laughs> True or false? Yes. True. <laughs> Excellent. Very True. good. Uh -huh. Yes. Iliana goes shopping all the time. Iliana va de compras todo el tiempo. Yes, Iliana. <laughs> Is that true? False. <laughs> <laughs> That's false. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. Excellent. Uh, Crisia goes for an ice cream at some times. De vez en cuando, Crisia va por un helado. ¿verdad? El único momento que Crisia se consiente. She goes for an ice cream. Um, let me see. Like that, right? Watch, watches. Guess, guesses. Finish, finishes. Go, goes. Fix, fixes, right? Yes. Diana fixes her watch. Ella repara su propio reloj. Diana. Who? Diana. Yes. Uh -huh. Sara guesses the winner. Ella adivina al ganador. Sara guesses the winner yes questions about this segment preguntas sobre este segmento about this do you have questions no I don't no everything clear sobre este primer segmento todo claro yes no everything clear participants everything clear, mm -hmm. everything clear? okay Very good. Good job. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Then we have the next part, right? Verbs ending in a consonant. B, C, D, F, or G, right? We change Y to I, E, S. Cambiamos la, um, en este caso, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, la eh, letra o la consonante Y, Vamos a ver si se acuerdan. How do you pronounce this? Según el alfabeto que estudiamos. ¿Cómo se llama esto? This letter. This consonant. Y. 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 Uh -huh. Change Y to y. I. Y. E. S. Vamos a sustituir el I por. Eh, el Y, sorry, por I. E. S. Por esta combinación de tres letras. Study. Studies. Yo generalmente voy a decir. I study English. Jose studies English. I study economics. Yo estudio economía. Ibeth studies economics. Mm -hmm. Yes. I study French. Mm -hmm. Yesenia studies French. Yesenia estudia francés. She studies French. Uh -huh. Yes. Fly. Uh, sorry, carry. She carry. No, mm -mm, that is incorrect. She carries her bag. Por ejemplo, a Luz, ella sola carga su maleta, su cartera. She carries her purse. Nadie más le carga su cartera. ¿Alguien más le carga su cartera? Los no, no. no. Ajá. Ahí se los pongo en el chat. Anybody. Anybody. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Luz carries her own purse. Luz carga su propia cartera, ¿verdad? Su cartera de mano. Mm -hmm. Yes. Diana carries the groceries. Uh -huh. For example, Diana carries the groceries. Ahí no estamos diciendo que Diana carga las groserías. No, no es groserías. Groceries significa compras. Digamos, Diana va, ¿qué? ¿Sábado, domingo? 
al supermercado o al mercado porque es, es el único momento que ella tiene, ¿verdad? Una semana para hacer sus compras de casa. So, Diana carries the groceries. Nadie más le ayuda a cargar las cosas a Diana. So, Diana goes alone, right? Diana carries the groceries. Ella carga con los compras, las comprados, right? Ok. Mm -hmm. That is it. Yes. Uh, carry, carries, right? Like that. Fly. Can you fly? Pueden volar alguno de ustedes? Can you fly? <laughs> yes, no. No, right? Uh huh. Crisia, can you fly? <laughs> no, I can't. Oh, uh -huh. no, I can't. Uh -huh. Very good. Jose Corea, can you fly? <laughs> Depends. Depends, okay. <laughs> Too much information. <laughs> okay, very good. Excellent. Uh -huh. Fly. For example, um, the dog flies. Uh -huh. Ya han visto esas, eh, esas tortolas, right? The dog flies. Esas tortolas, ajá. Teacher, uy, pero ese es el jabón, teacher, no. O sea, sí, ese es el nombre, pero también dove significa tortola, right? Those little birds, esos birds que hay, right? The dove flies. Veamos qué más. The parrot, un perico, a veces, right? The parrot flies. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes. Very good. Uh -huh. Doubts, preguntas sobre esto, preguntas, questions, yes, no, uh -huh. questions, questions, alguna duda sobre esto, questions, Sara, Yesenia, Mauricio, no, Ibe, no questions, no, ok, no teacher. Excellent. Good job, right? Very good job. Yes. So that is it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good, 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 good. Perfect, 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 perfect. So we're going to check right now the following. Ahora sí. Let's see this example. Veamos estos ejemplos. Ustedes completan los últimos tres, right? I go to work. To university at 12.30 p.m., right? I go home at 6.30 p.m. Regreso a casa. Voy de regreso a casa a las seis de la tarde. I go home at 6 p.m. My English class starts at 8 a.m. In this case, 8 p.m., right? My break is at, y luego ustedes colocan la hora. Mi receso es a las... Right? Uh, my English class finishes at, mi clase de inglés finaliza a, my goes to work. Aquí pueden poner lo que ustedes quieran. My supervisor, my boss, mi supervisor, mi jefe, goes to work at, like that, right? My, blah, 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 finishes work at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. For example, my coworker, mi compañero, trabaja o hasta las o finaliza a las tal tal hora. Complete them, please. Complete los, complete los espacios. Complete the spaces, please. Mm -hmm. Please, in this moment. Mm -hmm.
finish. Excellent, good job. Finish, teacher. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Let's just wait for the others to finish. Then we check. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Finish. Okay, so uh huh. So let's see. I go to work or I go to university at twelve thirty p.m. I go home at six p.m. My English class starts at a a.m. My break it's at seven p.m. For example, uh huh. I, my break is at. Solo me dicen la hora, please. Carla Patricia, my break is at? 1 a.m. Excellent. Uh, Crisia, my break is at? 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Very good. Uh, let's see. Uh, Yesenia, my break is at? Yes, Yesenia, my break is at? 3, 3, 3 p.m., okay. Mm -hmm. 3 p.m. Car uh -huh. Carlota, my break is at? Mm -hmm. Carlota, my break is at? 9. 9 a.m., okay. Mauricio, my break is at? 9. A.M. Excellent. My English class finishes at Luz Angelica. 10 p.m. Excellent. Uh, Yvette Ramirez, my goes to work at number six. Mm -hmm. My. Mm -hmm. Yvette. A.M. No, eh, number six. My, aquí el nombre de una persona. My sí. boss, my supervisor, mi jefe, no. mi supervisor. My, my co-worker. Ajá. Uh -huh. Goes to work A.M. At A.M. Excellent. Very good. Very, very good. Oh, no, wait. Give me a second. Uh, yes, Jose. Oh, wait, give me, give me a second. Let me fix this. So oh, sorry. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Beth. I don't know if you can see what I am projecting right now. Um, please let me know. Um, can you see? Pueden ver lo que estoy compartiendo ahorita. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, Jose Correa. I um, number seven. My my father finishes work at five p.m. Okay, my father finishes work at 5 p.m. Excellent, very good. Mm -hmm. 
And this is the last one for today. And the last one. Este es el último, es como un review, right? De todo. Lo que es correcto y lo que no es correcto. Decir. So, B, it's gonna be is. Esto, todo esto es para el third person singular, okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's just for the third person singular. Does he work on weekends? This is correct. It is correct. Esto sí es correcto. Does he work on weekends? Trabaja los fines de semana? Does he work? Teacher, perdón, perdón, pero hay un error, teacher, porque si es he, tiene que ser works. Mm -mm. No in this case. Not exactly in this case, because you have does, porque aquí está el verbo auxiliar. Does, y como ya está, no pueden haber dos singular forms, dos third person singulars en uno mismo, no. Entonces aquí es, does he work on weekends? This is correct. Does he works on weekends? Uh -uh. This is incorrect. Because it says does, and then it says works. Mm -mm. Two forms in the same sentence is not possible. Mm -mm. That is not correct. Does he works on weekends? This is incorrect. Do he work on weekends? Mm -mm. Incorrect. You don't say that. That is incorrect, right? Uh, is he busy today? Yeah, it is correct. Is he busy today? He is busy today. Mm, no. Si aquí ya va a ser un punto, en lugar de un question mark, en lugar de un signo de interrogación, sería una oración. So, yeah. It will be correct. Ahí sí sería correcto. But in this case, it is not. Pero en este caso, no. Porque es una question. Es una pregunta. So, yes, you have to say it. Has he, uh, he is busy today? Mm -mm. Is he busy today? Correct. Has he any balls? This is correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tiene algunas pelotas de baloncesto, de fútbol, right? Has he any balls? He has any balls? Uh -uh, the same. This is incorrect because we are working with questions, right? So that is something you have to respect on that, right? It must be that way. That is how you have to do it. Yes, again. Once again, just to review this part. Does he work on weekends? Correct. Does he works on weekends? Uh-uh, incorrect. Does he work? Do he works on weekends? No, not correct. Is he busy today? This is correct. Yes. Is he busy? Sorry, he is busy today. Mm -mm. This is incorrect because it has a question mark. Has he any balls? This is correct. Has he, or well, in this case, he has any balls. This is incorrect. Yes. Sure have a doubt. Yes, tell me. Who's... Okay, but um, if I say he's a busy today, is an affirmative sentence. Can you repeat it it's please once again? If I say he's busy today, Ah. It's, in a, it's an affirmative sentence. It's right? an affirmative sentence, exactly. And that okay. is correct. Uh -huh. Okay, yes. it is correct. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. yes. my time. Mm -hmm. In this case, like it's going to be correct. In este caso, porque si ven, solo son preguntas, right? Estamos okay. haciendo las corrections, uh -huh, for, for the questions, right? So, what is the correct um, structure? Como ustedes deben estructurarlas? Correctamente, okay? The way you are supposed to structure them. Mm -hmm. More questions about this? Más dudas? Más preguntas sobre esto? Do you have more questions, participants? Yes? No? Mm -hmm. Have I explained myself? Me he dado a entender? Did I explain myself? 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Diana, Yesenia, Sara, Mauricio, Grisio. Everything clear? It's clear. Mm -hmm. Carla, Miss Pineda, questions, dudas, Miss Pineda? It's clear, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Nice. Can I move on? Puedo moverme, puedo desplazarme a la siguiente? To the last one? Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Very good. And now, there you go. Find the errors, please. Todas tienen un error. Find them. Encuentran los errores que tienen cada una, please. Find the errors, please. Participants, please.
with your feelings? Yes, not yet, still analyzing, todavía analizándolas. Yes. Está un poco tricky, ¿verdad? Está un poco confusa, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Yes, I know. Finish. Good, excellent, very good job. Let's wait for the others to finish up, then we check together. Okay, students ready for check-in? It's time for us to check together. Yes. Very good. Do me a favor, please, in this moment, take a mini screenshot of this. Do me that favor, please. Tome una pequeña captura de este, of this um, screenshot, please. Well, hoy ya las tienen, verdad, en su cuaderno también. So you have them in there. Excellent. Don't worry. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay. So in this time, what I want you to do is, well, I want to send you to some rooms. Quiero enviarlos a, um, um, bien. Um, los voy a enviar en grupos en estos momentos a sesiones, right? I'm going to send you there. Lo voy a enviar a sesiones. Eh, y ustedes, entre ustedes, quiero que ustedes discutan. I want you to see which the errors from there you found. ¿Cuáles fueron los errores que encontraron en cada una de las oraciones? Please do it, please. Ya es una de nuestras últimas activities for today. So do it in this moment. Ahorita los envío eh, para que ustedes um, puedan verdad, socializar y luego les eh, luego regresamos. ¿Listos? Yes, ready? Mm-hmm. 
Are you ready? Listos, listos? Yes. Ok. Perfecto. Ahorita los envío a sus breakout rooms, a sus salones de discusión. Y luego comparten, por favor, comparten con sus compañeros cuáles fueron los errors. Y ahí voy a pasar monitoring. Voy a pasar monitoreándolos a todos. Ok. There you go. Ahí va. Uh -huh. Solo me falta Carlota en Ibet para que se unan a sus respectivas salas de discusión. Uh -huh. Please. Uh -huh. Ahí tienen la invite, ahí tienen la invitación para que se unan y luego discuten. And then you discuss. Uh -huh. Y Beth, ingrese a la sala a la que se la ha invitado, sala número uno, room, breakout room number one. Hello, Yvette. Yvette, Yvette, hello. Hay entes. Ah, en la segunda sería. Ajá, hay how do you spell pizza? Pizza. Pizza. Uh -huh. P I. How do you hear Z A? Pizza. Uh -huh. ¿Y cómo se pronuncia? Pizza. Pizza. Stay firm. Okay. Yes. Very good. Continue discussing. Continue discutiendo. Very good. Yesenia, la segunda. Perdón, la tercera. She do. Sería she do homework on the service post. Así supongo yo que se eliminando el. Mm, no. It's... She do or she does. Oh, she does. She does. Uh -huh. uh, she, she does. does. Homework. En la segunda, teacher. Hello. Ah, sorry. En la segunda. In the second one. In the second is. Yes. Um, I like eating pizza. Mm -mm. Eat, um, what is the error? I like. Like, exactly. I but is like. eating or eat? Eating, eating, yeah. Eating, ah. eating is not a past verb? No, 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 no. Eating is correct. Yeah. Eating is correct. Yes, ah, it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like 
eating pizza. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. when I use uh, the... ING, ¿cuándo utiliza el ING? Yes. Um, es, es un gerundio, es un verbo uh -huh. en forma de gerundio. I like eating pizza, me gusta comer. Es cuando es un verbo acción. Entonces, estos verbos como I like, I don't like, son como verbos suplementarios, como auxiliares. Ajá. No son los que okay. gustan la acción. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Mm, okay. I like eating pizza. Ajá, I like, like eating pizza. Yes. Ok, the four is the field finish. It's the finishes. Finishes. Okay. ¿Cuál es el finishes. error ahí, don José? Uh, the, the, the last, the last S and the finish. Ajá. Uh -huh. And the right, uh, word finish. Uh -huh. Ajá. And the right word is finishes. Finishes. Y es, ¿verdad? Aquí yeah. iría una E. Le hace falta una E. Finishes. Uh -huh. The fin finishes are E. Excellent. Finishes. Muy bien. Okay. Uh -huh. Finishes. Um, la otra de... One, two, three, Muy bien. Four. Sigan. My friends. My friends. Y Beth, hello, hello. La envié a una sala de discusión, pero creo que no, no le llegó la invitación. ¿No? No se escucha. Se escucha. Ahora sí, escucha. yes, yes. No, es que se me, se me cerró la... Ah. Se me cerró el, el celular y no lo pude encender. Ah, ok, la llamada. Se me fue la señal. Uh -huh. Comprendo, sí. Bueno, solo reviso un, una, un grupo más y luego regresamos todos acá. Solo deme okay. un, un minutito más, ok. ¿Ya encontró los errores, Ibe? ¿Did you find the errors? Yo digo que sí, pero no sé. <risa> We're gonna check together. Ya lo vamos a revisar todos juntos. Yes. Solo reviso okay. un grupo más y luego regresamos. Thank you. Or teachers, or... Okay, entonces es the teachers. Sí, ese creo que es y y es. Yes. Yes. Sí, no. Or... Es only es teachers. Oh, no. Yes. Only yes. Only yes. Which one? <ríe> Los veo batallando con una en específico. ¿Cuál es? La última estamos. <ríe> the last one. Uh -huh. Ajá. Okay, veo la batalla. It's only con... S in the teacher, ¿verdad? En which one? La última. Yes. Mm -hmm. Our teacher. Uh -huh. No. Talks. It's talks. It's talks. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Our teacher talks uh -huh. very yeah. clearly. Uh -huh. Correct. Yes. Because talks is the verb that the teacher. Exactly. Correct. Uh -huh. yeah. Exactly. Talk, like speak, right? Talk, 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 talk. That's talks. the verb. Mm -hmm. Talks. Okay. Talks, okay. Is, the verb. Uh -huh. talks is a Q E S. Uh -huh. No, it's T. A L K K S. K -S. K -S. Uh -huh. Yes, excellent. Teacher. Yes. Uh -huh. And the other is Nicole Kidman. Uh, um, Max. Max. Uh -huh. the, Max. The same. Uh, Carla. Yes. The letter uh -huh. S only. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank uh -huh. you, teacher. Yes. Uh -huh. Esas dos le dieron guerra, verdad? Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Nil yes. Nicole Kidman. Max. Yes. Uh -huh. Bien, las vamos a ir a revisar todos ahorita, entonces ahí los invito otra vez para que regresen, ¿ok? Y regresamos. Okay.
Okay, everybody here? Yes. So, very good, very, very good. Vi que algunos estaban ahí en conflictos, en guerras. No, es esta. No, this is the correct one. No, teacher. Y entonces, eso, eso vi que todos en, en, los, en las salas, todos, teacher. Y en esta, ¿cuál sería? ¿Verdad que es tal? So, excellent, right? That analysis helps you understand better. Ese análisis le ayuda a construir mejor las ideas. Very good. So, number one, does he like basketball? What is the mistake? What is the error? Is does not do. Do. Exactly. Do, it's incorrect. The correct form yes, is does. 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 Doesn't like basketball. Uh -huh. Does he does. like basketball? Excellent. Does he like basketball? Uh-huh. Does he like basketball? That is the correct for number one, right? Do is not correct. Number two, esta creo que a todos les dio problemas, ¿verdad? <laughs> que se ve como que sí, pero que no, like yes and no, and who knows in the end. I like eating pizza. What is the mistake? What is the error? Likes. Like. Likes. Uh-huh. I because it's like exactly. one person. Exactly. Very good. I like eating pizza. Very good. Good job. Number two, she do her homework on the service bus. She doesn't. She does. The service bus. She does her homework on the service bus. Very good. Yes. The film finishes finish finish or finishes. 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 It finishes. Exactly. Finishes. What is the error? ¿Cuál es el error entonces? ¿Qué finish. Finish. Pero aquí sería con una E, le hace falta una E. Finish. E. Uh -huh. Finishes. Very good. Yes. My friends goes on holiday uh, next week. Goes is the error. Goes is goes. the error. What is the correct is form? Go. Go. My go. friend go on go. the holiday next go week. Go on holiday. Uh -huh. Teacher Kevin, what is holiday? Holiday is a synonym of vacation or celebration, right? And synonym de vacación or celebration, right? My friends yeah. go on holiday next week. Number six. Number six. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Number six. She carries. Carries. Uh -huh. carries. What is the error? Yes. 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 The correct yes. Give me the correct spelling. C A R R E I. I ah, E S. Excellent. I E S. Excellent. Amen. C A R R I E S. I E S. Excellent. Carries. Uh -huh. Carries. Very good. Uh, Nicole Kidman. Otro que le dio muchos problemas a varios. Nicole sí, Kidman. No sé todavía. ¿no? Acts. Acts. In a lot of films, right? Acts. Yeah, Nicole. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we plays. We play. It's only play. Excellent. It's only yes. play, right? We play in the garden at break. Excellent. Uh huh. Y esta sí, a varios les dio batalla. Our teacher. Dogs. Dogs. Very, 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 clear. 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 very, 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 clear. very, 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 clear. very, 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 good job. very, 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 good. very, 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 very,
Did you learn something new today? Aprendieron algo nuevo in this time? Yes. 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 Did yes. you practice? Practicaron? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Tell me. Solo dígame rapidito. Una cosa nueva que aprendieron este día. One new thing you learned today. Mm -hmm. Use the does and doesn't. Does and doesn't. Okay. Yeah. Correct. What else? Only <laughs> tantas cosas, verdad que <laughs> no hayamos. Uh, uh -huh. um, today, um, when the verb ending in a consonant, yeah. uh, B, C, D, F, G, uh, change Y to I, E, S. Exactly. That is new information. Yes. Totally correct. Very good. Okay, participants, eh, don't forget to do your homework. Ya les posteo su, su daily question. Ya les voy a postear, a publicar su pregunta diaria. Su tarea ya está ahí, ¿verdad? Vayan desarrollándolas con tiempo. Recuerden que son cinco tareas a la semana, una cada día. Rapidito la pueden hacer, right? Y así van ya tranquilos al día. Y después la pregunta diaria. También mañana la pueden responder de, de la pregunta diaria. Y yes, check the I, I share with you. Revisen la información que les compartí ahora, ¿verdad? Lo que les escribía. El, el material I have enabled for you. Ahí va el nuevo content, ¿verdad? Para cada, para cada week, para cada semana. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. Nos vemos mañana, primero Dios. Y que pasen feliz noche. Todos, everybody. So, bye bye. Thank you, bye. bye. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Take care. Bye. Bye bye. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Greetings. Bye bye. My best regards to you. See you. Take care. Bye bye. Take good care. Bye, Yvette. Take good care of yourself. Bye bye. Nice. Okay, so today we're supposed to have the um, personal coaching meeting with um, Jose Ivan Portillo, but Jose did not connect today because of um, internet connection and circumstances. Well, he connected, but for some minutes, so he couldn't stand more than that. And today is, it, it was supposed to be his day, right? His day of um, receiving the personal training, the 10 minutes training, yes. So still, we're gonna take this time, these minutes for practicing what we studied today related to the simple present, affirmative and negative statements, right? So as we practice today, um, we normally say like, for example, a statements like this, I do my homework, this is gonna be affirmative, right? In negative form, I am going to say, I don't do my homework. That is going to be the negative, right? I don't do my homework. Affirmative, one is affirmative, the other one it's negative. So as a question, I am going to say, or in this case, ask, right? Do I do my homework? Mm -hmm. And how can I respond it? How can I respond to this? Yes, I do. Or I can simply say, if my answer is negative, no, I don't, right? I do my homework. I don't do my homework. Do I do my homework? Yes, I do. No, I don't, right? That is what we actually practice today. So for the third person singular, it's a little bit more, not exactly complicated, but it has its essential rules, right? Like for example, a, in this case, when we have, for example, the pronoun he, which is for the third person singular, we don't say do. What we say is does, for example, 
he does his homework, right? He does his homework. He doesn't do his homework. That's what we say in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me add in here do. I forgot to add the verb do in the first one. He does, uh, he does, no, we oh, sorry. He does his homework. He doesn't do his homework. And as a question, as a question, this is gonna be, does he do his homework, right? Like this. So this is a little bit complicated uh, because you have to know and perfectly understand how the rules are going to be for this a verbs, right, for each and every single one of them. So he does his homework, he doesn't do his homework, does he do his homework? And then we have, right, I do my homework, I don't do my homework. Do I do my homework? Yes, I do. No, I don't, right? So um, it's basically related to that. We can also say she speaks, for example, she speaks English. Luz Angelica speaks French. Uh, Yvette speaks Italian, for example. Uh, the teacher Kevin speaks French. That is another example, right? That we can use for the third person singular. Uh, she or he speaks, well, or he plays basketball. She plays football, soccer, right? American football or soccer. The teacher explains the class, right? Most of the time when we have the verbs, what we're going to do is that we're going to add the letter S. That is like the general rule. Still, we have those exceptions that we studied today. Like for example, watch, watches, fly, flies. Right? Guess, guesses. Mm -hmm. For example, chase, chases, right? For example, he chases after the cat, just to give you an example, right? For the third person singular in the simple present. Something that we need to point out is that we use the simple present to describe, as we said before, to describe routines, daily routines, routines or habits that we have in our job, habits that we have in, in our homes, right? That is one of the things. We also talk about general truth, something that is real, real information, like the capital of, San Sa of El Salvador is San Salvador, for example, right? And we mainly focus on describing those, those elements, right? Related to, to the simple present as it is. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, and the affirmative, the negative, and the question form that we have, right? So that is pretty much basically what we got to, to study and practice in today's class, right? This is what we, what we did today. So my recommendation to you is keep practicing, keep writing more examples because examples help you a lot. By writing examples, you improve your grammar, like following this basic structure, right? As it is supposed to, to be followed, yes. And yeah, take some time to practice by describing your daily activities, for example as or everything well most of the things you do in your job right yeah that is pretty much that part related to to this of course yes very very good yes that's what we have um in here right very very good okay so yes that is pretty much what we did today it was nice to see you all don't forget to do your homework, dear participants, and answer to your daily questions, right? Just like I told you before. So God willing, I see you tomorrow, everybody, for another English class. So...
Bye-bye. Take good care of yourselves.